It's the time for her. Package from China. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're back with a new video and it's awesome that you're tuning in. We are going to take a close look at the new plug and play device is the Y2 Pro from Datafrog. The question remains, what are we going to get inside? Is this thing worth your money? And this is just actually worth your money. That's the most important thing. So stay tuned, consider subscribing, hit the little bell and let's go with the show. Uh, we are having reaching the point that, that I was more like, this doesn't make any sense. So now you're thinking, wicked, what are you talking about? So they call this thing the Pro Edition. Yeah, the Pro. The Pro, my ass. So what's the point to call it a Pro that it doesn't even have HDMI functionalities? So <laughs> that's more like that makes me confused. But okay, also comes with two controllers. And of course, the toilet paper man. Holy crap. <laughs> Look at this. That's it. That's the only thing that we're going to get. And I think a lot of a headache because, oh boy. How to reset the game, start. So we need to press select and B this time. Okay, it's always more like sometimes select and start. And that's it, nothing else. The controls, I'm guessing they will work on do triple A batteries. Don't do that too often. And there is an indication over here in the middle that will say which control you're having now. This is player one, but also you can see it over here. Of course, obvious, but with the other model, we couldn't see it. But okay, so we're having one of the layout like the European version, select start, steer D-pad, A, B, and of course the toggle buttons. And that's it. That's the only thing that we're going to get. So let's grab myself some batteries. Let's put them in. Let's boot up this bad boy because there is one thing I just wanted to see how bad or maybe how good is the AV out quality. <sighs> What's the point of a stick if you can stick it in? Yeah, basically, you can stick it in. You can stick it in the USB port. So more like this time you stick it in the USB port and using the AV out cable. I'm normally going to stick it in the HDMI port and we're going to use a cable for the USB, you know? Pro, come here, pro my ass. Okie dokie, so let's boot it up. First of all, uh, let's untangle this freaking cable because I just want to plug this bad boy in. Okay, so let's plug it into the USB port for some juice. Ah, uh, yep, clicks in very well. Uh, do you know what I totally forgot to mention with you guys? And the reason why I forgot it is because this thing has a CF card and the thing is more like, can I get, can I either get it either out or what? Ah, yeah. Well, look at this. There is no CF card, you know? It's more like, what are they doing with this? It's such a weird thing, but okay. So what I wanted to do is my plug it in, ah, into the port over here, the USB port for some juice. If this doesn't work, you can also grab yourself a phone charger. That's going to be more like a freaking cable nightmare. And then we're going to plug it in to AV out. Oh boy, they did it again. So, this is my nightmare. The freaking language at the beginning. Because every time you reset it, you need to choose your language. I don't get it. I don't get it. Oh boy. See, this is more like the confusing stuff. They call a stick like this in Pro, but it is more like 10 steps back. Okay, so let's check out. So, how are the controls working? The controls are working very well. So, what I also think is more like they put Chinese on number one. The first time I, of course, accidentally choose the freaking in the Chinese version beside the English. So we're thinking Mario. Oh, they're basically just calling it Mario Contra Hot Blood Adventure and Turtles. Okay, that is quite interesting. <laughs> okay, so this time just we're going to get the Mario Contra Hot Blood Turtles and Adventure. It's just freaking unbelievable. Oh boy. So if we're going to choose Adventure, we're just going to get Adventure games. Oh, I was having more of my controllers stop working. Uh, yeah, so we're having four games on one list. Here we're having, let me guess, all the turtles. Yep, and here we're having all of the hot blood games. Yep, and else comes with Mighty Final Fight. So that's one of the big, that's one of the mistakes. And Contra and Mario, of course. So the thing is more like, and they had 545 different games thinking, you know what? We have no idea what to do with it. So let's slap it in one big gigantic pile of a shitty list. No search, no search function capabilities. It's just one freaking nightmare. My, my controller still stop freaking working every time. Oh boy. But what you can see is more like a mix of 
homebrew games, naughty games, like all kinds of stuff. But yeah, if you want to search a game, good luck with that. All right, so let's try the turtles game. All the sound effects are here. What I also noticed more like this is the raw image, like the real 8-bit. Because with some of these takes we're going to get more like a weird polish filter over it. I must say that the controller is not having any problems anymore and the D-pad is very responsive. Ow. Oh, the game runs on turbo mode. But the image itself looks really washed out. And it's just simply because it has such a poor AVO function. Oh, crap. Okay, so let's see how this is working. Tower one seems to be working fine. Ow. But what I don't get with these things, they are going to give us AV out versions. Why? We have so many of these next NES NES clones that have the same capabilities. I know. Hmm? I'm ghosting. I'm ghosting. Woo! I already mentioned that the system is filled with homebrew games. And to be honest, this thing is pretty cool. Oh, oh crap. It's a little bit buggy, but... So in general, I am always super fascinated with these weird NES, SNES, Sega, PlayStation 1 and nowadays the stick versions. But this thing makes no sense. There is an SD slot, but you can add games. And it looks like an HDMI dongle, but it isn't. It's more like a USB dongle that you plug in your monitor and you can play through AV out in 2021. The controls, I did have some minor issues, like somewhere my connection fell away, but it on the batteries, I knew for sure, because I have brand new batteries in it for making this review, so that is not the thing and the problem. But nevertheless, it's more like a really cheap device, and they're naming it Pro, but this is just really Pro bullshit, because there's nothing Pro about it, in my opinion. I want to thank you for watching, consider subscribing, hit the little bell, become one of the Wicked family, and I will see you in the next video. Would be great. Yeah.